Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my hidden tree chest. So if we come over here to my tree, it has to be an oak wood tree, just letting you know, because oak wood trees are huge and easy to hide redstone in. We're gonna come over to our oak wood. We're gonna place down a pressure plate right here, hit it, and our chest will pop out of the ground. We can go ahead and go inside our chest. Maybe we have some diamonds, some emeralds, whatever you want inside the chest. Just delete our pressure plate here. And when we're ready to leave, hit right here with our bow and arrow, and it goes back down and our chest is completely hitting grab our arrow and go sometimes the arrow won't fall down but most of the time it usually does if it doesn't fall down that's fine you can still go ahead and you know hit it as much as you want i'll do it again see fall up oh, see oh it did fall that time okay never mind <laughs> so let's just start building this thing guys now i'm gonna actually start off with a naked design right here without the tree in it it's gonna be the same design for this tree now the weird thing with this build is it's very easy to build however everyone's is gonna be a little bit different depending on how tall your tree is you can't do it off one of these small trees guys if you're wondering it's it's just not gonna work because you won't be able to hide the redstone that good inside one of these small trees so we're going to be using this tree right here however i'm going to go with this design right here first and then we're going to go ahead and build it in at the end for this so actually let me get rid of this stuff out of my inventory and we can grab our arrow and stuff we're actually going to need dirt as well for this build but we're going to get dirt if we're doing this on survival so for this build we're going to need two pistons five redstone dust at least five redstone dust. So you, you sometimes don't need that much sometimes you do like i said it all depends on how you're doing it but for my build you're going to need five we're going to need two pressure plates we're going to need at least one sticky piston now the sticky piston is out if you don't have sticky pistons right now you can still build this however every time you use the hidden tree chest you're going to have to wait five minutes for that arrow to spawn or maybe if you just walk really far away the arrow will just spawn on its own but the the sticky piston is optional right now if you don't have sticky pistons we're also going to need one redstone repeater but like i said you might not need to use it depending on how you build yours we're going to need one rail one minecart with a chest and then i highly recommend bringing shears with you because while you're shearing off the tree like the tree leaves and stuff to get inside your tree you'll actually collect the bo uh yeah bock <laughs> you'll actually collect the block when you're actually uh digging out your tree so you know you don't want to lose those tree leaves and all that stuff because we're going to end up wanting to put those back so i highly recommend bringing shears and then of course just bring a few more oak wood uh oak wood with you so you can you know put more stuff in there for when you're actually putting your uh, redstone in so right here i just have like a nice little naked tree so we're just going to dig down three from underneath our tree so go one two three and then right underneath our tree we're going to dig down three one two three like that then right underneath the tree we're going to put a regular piston facing upwards like that put a block on top of it. you can use whatever block you really want to you won't really be able to see it i just like using oak wood then on top of that block we're going to put a rail and then we're going to put a minecart in there Next, what I want you to do is right next to your piston down there, put any block of choice as long as you can put redstone down on it. Put a piece of redstone on top of it, then just put a dirt block back right above it like this. Boop. And now if I put a pressure plate here and activate it, it will activate the tree pushing our chest up. But I can't do it right now because I don't I have too many blocks right now. Because if you did not know, a piston can only push up to 12 blocks. So pretty much what this build is for this tree over here, we're going to be uh, going up at least 12 blocks to the top and we're going to put our piston in facing downwards. So let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And right here is where our piston is going to be going for that tree. Now, like I said, if you're using a tree that big, this tree over here I used here, I only went up eight blocks. But since this one's huge, I'm going to be going up 12. So I mean, if you want to go down a little bit more or up, you can't really go up a little bit more. No, you can't go up at all actually the 12th block is the most you can go so if you want to go down more depending on how big your tree actually is you can do this next what you want to do is just put a regular piston facing downwards right off this now on your big tree there'll probably be oak wood right here so you don't you won't have these wool blocks here i just put those there just to sh just to put the piston in real easy now right next to our piston what we're going to do is take out oak wood oak wood blocks you want to use oak wood because you want it to match your tree so no one can see any of the redstone and we're going to put a piece of oak wood right next to our piston and then we're just going to put a pressure plate right next to our piston and then right in front of our piston up here we're going to delete this block so now if i hit this pressure plate the piston activates see now if i put a pressure plate down here and activate it it act oh i just pushed my minecart out i did not want to do that let me put that back in there there we go so if i click that our, our minecart comes up and if i click this one up here our minecart goes down that's how easy this guy's goes up 
and goes down now all we have to do is make it so we can activate this pressure plate with our arrow from down there so all you're gonna have to do is just put another oak wood plank i like usually putting it to the side like this so you have two of them like that so you know where to aim your arrow at because most trees i mean you'll see it sometimes on trees but not too often it will look like that so then you just know where to shoot it so now if i actually take out a bow and arrow where is my bow and arrows there they are and we shoot right into the corner right into the crevice of these two as you see the piston activates now this is where that sticky piston comes in because the sticky piston will push this block down thus deactivating this piston right here if we don't have that sticky piston this won't deactivate but like i said if you don't have the option for a sticky piston right now you don't really need it too much so you know you can pick that up like that so now what we have to do is just get power from this up to our sticky piston so right here is where our sticky piston is going to be going it's going to be facing down off this block right here and all we have to do is just get power from this pressure plate to this sticky piston right here. So all you're going to do is just come out this way with more oak wood. You have to use oak wood because that's how the tree works. And we're going to put a repeater coming off our, our, bleh, off our pressure plate. Put a block in front of it, another oak wood block with dust on top of it. And then just bring the dust over to our sticky piston. So we're just going to bring our oak woods right over here and bring our dust over to our sticky pistons like that. So now that's it. That You're completely done. So I click it. It comes up. But then if I shoot it with my arrow... It goes down and see how it pushes it off right there and see sometimes it'll hover in the air but most of the time it usually falls down depending on where you hit it from but that easy to build guys you are completely done but now i'm going to show you how oh, i missed <laughs> i'm going to show you how to build it straight off from a actual tree so we don't uh so i don't just show you this and you go okay so i gotta build a tree around this thing no you want to actually build it straight off a tree so i'm going to do it very quick guys so i'm just going to dig down three then i'm going to dig down three underneath the tree i'm going to put a regular piston facing upward with a block on top of it. Then we're gonna put our rail, our chest on top of the rail. Then down here, we're gonna put a block, redstone dust, and then we're gonna take out our dirt block, put it right on top of the redstone dust, and that's where our pressure plate's gonna be going to activate it. Next, we're gonna count up 12 blocks. So let me just dig down three again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right there. 10 11 and right here is number 12 so we're going to delete 12 block right here and put another regular piston facing downwards delete the block in front of it then right next to it we're going to put a oak wood plank put a oop, i actually want to turn it the other way let me get it the other way first no stop come on there we go <laughs> then we're going to put our pressure plate right here so if i hit this it'll activate our pressure plate there we go see how it activates it i'm actually going to need that repeater so let me go get that then we're gonna just go like this and we're gonna just dig out this area right here then right next to our pressure plate we're gonna put a block up put a repeater coming out of the pressure plate then delete this oak leaf right here and put some dust here come up to so delete these right here come up right above it and we're gonna put some more oak wood right here put two pieces of dust along this oak wood and then put our sticky piston facing downwards right next to that dust and then put our block right in front of it actually i need to come down one more sorry so we're gonna come down one more right here then put our block like that there we go and that's it that's all i pretty much did so now if i activate it from down here it activates it and then if i hit it with my bow right there see that corner right there if i hit it with the bow it activates it and puts it back down and now like i said this is where the whole part of the oak leaves and stuff come into place you really want to take those shears with you guys because if you look up here as you can see you can see some stuff up here and you really don't want to see that so all you want to do is just like you know take out your oak leaves maybe fill in the area a little bit more put some oak leaves here go around onto this side as you can see i can see a bunch of redstone on this side so i can put some oak leaves right around this side like this hide everything and then put some up here maybe like that put some on this side so i can't see this redstone right there and that's it it's completely hidden guys so there you guys go that's how you build my hidden hidden tree chest <laughs> hidden tree chest if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe and stay tuned with my newest videos and if i just go like that and hit that right there oh, there we go <laughs> all right guys peace